this video will look at all the fees of universities that offer nursing, nursing training colleges. We'll look at their undergraduate fees, their postgraduate fees, their fee paying, and also the fees for international students. So without wasting time, let's dive into the video. Let's start with the University of Ghana School of Nursing and Midwifery. If you are an undergraduate, a fresh student, you are going to pay about 3,500. Now, if you move on to level 200, you are going to pay about 3,900. And when you get to level 300, you are going to pay again about 3,500. If you are a fee paying undergraduate student, you are going to pay about 8,000 Ghana cities. And if you are a postgraduate student, you are going to pay about 12,000 Ghana cities. If you also want to offer MPH, you are going to pay about 18,000 Ghana cities. PhD students pay about 11,000 in their first year, second year, and fourth year, and they pay about 15,000 in their third year. For international students who want to offer nursing at the University of Ghana, you are going to pay about 6,800 US dollars in your first, second, and third year, and in your fourth year, you are going to pay about 8,800 US dollars. So those fees were for international students who are Africans. But if you're an international student who is not an African, then you're going to pay about 9,000 US dollars in your first year and then 8,000 US dollars in your second, third, and fourth year. Now let's look at KNUST. For regular undergraduate students who want to study nursing, you pay about 3,000 Ghana cities in your first year and as a continuing student, that is 200, 300, level 400, you're going to pay about 2,600 cities. Now, for regular undergraduate fee-paying students, you're going to pay about 4,000 cities in your first and continuing years. And also, if you are pursuing emergency nursing or midwifery, you pay about 7,000 in your first and continuing years. Now, for international undergraduate students, they pay in their first year about 4,900 US dollars and when they continue as continuing students, they pay about 5,600 US dollars. For postgraduate students, they pay about 14,000 to 18,000 cities depending on which nursing course you want to offer. And as continuing students, they pay about 6,000 cities. Now for international postgraduate students, in their first year, they pay about 9,000 US dollars and as continuing students, they pay about 5,000 US dollars. Now please note that all the fees mentioned are for the year, that is per year, not per semester. Now for the University of Cape Coast School of Nursing and Midwifery, if you want to pursue BSc Nursing as a regular undergraduate student who is a resident, you pay about 3,000 cities. For continuing students who are residents, you pay about 2,700 cities and for non-residents, they pay about 1,900 cities. Now, for postgraduate students who are residents, they pay about 6,900 cities. Now, please note again that all the fees are per year, not per semester. The fourth university is the University for Development Studies School of Nursing and Midwifery. For all their BSc programs in the School of Nursing and Midwifery, regular undergraduate students pay about 2,165 cities. Again, all the fees are per year. The next university is the University of Education, Winneba. Now, UEW does not offer BSc Nursing or Midwifery, but they offer BSc Health Administration and Education. Now, their fees for the BSc Health Administration and Education for regular undergraduate students, it's 1,600 and the same 1,600 for continuing students. Now, for fee-paying undergraduate students who are in their first year, they pay about 5,000 cities. But for continuing students who are also reading BSc and Public Administration and Education, they pay about 6,900. Now, for international undergraduate students who are in their first year, they pay about 1,800 US dollars. For continuing students, they pay about 1,700 US dollars. And for their final year, they pay about 1,900 US dollars. Also, for international postgraduate students who are in their first year, they pay about 4,900 US dollars. 
and for continuing students they pay about 4,800 US dollars. Students who also want to pursue doctorates in their first year as international students also pay 11,000 US dollars and as continuing students they pay 7,000 US dollars. Again, all the fees are per year. The Sith University is the University of Health and Allied Sciences School of Nursing and Midwifery. Now, you have fees for regular undergraduate students who read a BSc in Nursing, Midwifery, or Public Health is about 3000 and for continuing students, they pay about 2700 For fee-paying students who pursue nursing at UHAS, they pay, those who are residents pay about 7700 and those who are non-residents pay about 6400 For students who want to read postgraduates at UHAS, they have to pay, those who read masters have to pay 9000 those who read MPhil pay 9900 and then PhD students pay about 13000 once again, all the fees are per year. The seventh university is Central University. Students who want to pursue nursing at Central University as fresh undergraduate students per semester pay about 5,400 cities. And for international students, they pay about 2,000 US dollars. Before we look at the next four universities and training colleges in Ghana and their fees for nursing, my name is Pat. If you are new to this channel, Pat tune. Be sure to subscribe if you are interested in videos like this that bring you everything you need to know about schools in Ghana. The eighth university is Valley View University. The fees per semester for fresh students in the School of Nursing and Midwifery is 5,100 cities and for continuing students it's about 4,900 cities. For fresh international undergraduate students, the fee they pay is about 1,600 US dollars and for continuing students, they pay about 1,200 US dollars. The ninth university is Ashesi University. Now for undergraduate students, that is fresh students who want to read nursing, per semester they pay about 49,000 Ghana cities or about 4,000 US dollars. Now these fees cover tuition, test books, internet service, and other services as well. Now, let's look at the fees for nursing training colleges. Now, first we start with Kolebu Nursing and Midwifery Training College. For fresh students in their first year who want to read nursing, they pay about 2,200 cities. And for continuing students, they pay about 1,400 cities. Now, these fees cover tuition, feeding, books, and other services. The second school is 37 Military Nursing and Midwifery Training School. For them, fresh students who want to read nursing pay about 5,000 Ghana cities and continuing students pay about 6,000 Ghana cities. Now, these fees cover books, tuition, and other services. For the College of Health and Wellbeing in Kintampo, their diploma programs for nursing is about 3,000 and their degree program, that's the BSc program, is about 4,000 cities. That is per year. For Sunyani Nursing and Midwifery Training College, their fees per year for fresh students is about 1,500. But then you also pay other fees for other services. If you want to see 10 of the best nursing training colleges in Ghana, click on this video. And if you want to see 10 of the best university for degree nursing in Ghana, click on this video. If you also want to read more about the topic, visit my website, patsteam.org. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.